Three LAPD officers are recovering from gunshot wounds following a violent confrontation with a convicted felon in Lincoln Heights. That suspect was found dead after an intense shootout. We now know his identity and details about his previous run-ins with police. KJ5 Sandra Mitchell is live in Boyle Heights with the latest development. Sandra? Uh, Mary Beth and Micah, two of those officers are out of the hospital. They are back home with their families tonight, less than 24 hours after they were shot. The third officer still in the hospital, stable condition. And now we are learning a lot more about the gunman's criminal background. New information about the convicted felon who opened fire, wounding three LAPD officers. 32-year-old Jonathan Magana has a long criminal record, including charges of battery on a police officer and illegal possession of a firearm. He was the last arrested in October and released one day later. He also had previous convictions for felony robbery and selling methamphetamines. And then last night, just after 6, near Broadway and Prince Streets in Lincoln Heights, officers were searching for the parolee. He ran inside a house and refused to surrender. Officers deployed a chemical irritant. Unfortunately, uh, that suspect responded to that chemical agent by opening the shed and opening fire on the officers. The officers then returned fire, and as a result of that, three officers from the Metropolitan uh, Canine Unit were struck. A neighbor told us she heard up to 10 gunshots. All three veteran officers are now recovering. Nobody else was hurt. The SWAT team moved it, and the city was put on tactical alert, bringing even more officers to the scene. Unfortunately, behavior of this individual did not uh, result in that. A very deadly situation. We're grateful residents were not injured as part of this, and we're grateful the officers are going to be okay. Late this afternoon, other officers with the LAPD K-9 unit were still at County USC Hospital. The coroner has not yet released a cause of death for the suspect. We don't yet know if he was shot by LAPD, shot himself, or died of another cause. Magana was last convicted back in 2020. He was sentenced to five years in prison, but was released after serving just over two years and obviously then was back on the streets of L.A. Outside County USC Medical Center, I'm Sandra Mitchell, KTLA 5 News. Micah, Mary Beth, back to you. All right, Sandra, thank you. I'll take it from there.